President Biden on Friday decried the manner in which some Republicans treated Supreme Court nominee Kintanji Brown Jackson as verbal abuse as he celebrated her confirmation at a White House event. Biden acknowledged that he anticipated the confirmation process would be painful for his nominee, but said that the Republican questioning of Jackson during her hearing last month exceeded his expectations. I have to tell you, what Judge Jackson was put through was well beyond that. It was verbal abuse, the anger, the constant interruptions, the most vile and baseless assertions and accusations, he said. In the face of it all, Judge Jackson showed the incredible character and integrity she possesses, Biden continued, poise, poise and composure, patience and restraint, and yes, perseverance and even joy. Jackson faced some harsh lines of questioning about her sentencing in certain child pornography cases and about critical race theory from GOP Senators Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz, respectively, during the confirmation hearing. Biden on Friday also appeared to be referring to Senator Lindsey Graham, who frequently interrupted Jackson during one of the hearings. By the way, we already know why Graham interrupted her so much, because he was mad that uh, Biden didn't nominate Childs, a um, person he likes that comes out of his own home state, and that, this was his way of getting revenge. Democrats have accused Republicans of unfair, baseless, and racist attacks against Jackson, who will be the first black woman to serve in the Supreme Court when she's officially sworn in later this year. Uh, Biden thanked, oh, okay, let me report this. Ultimately, the Senate confirmed Jackson on Thursday. Three Republicans, Senators Mitt Romney, Lisa Murkowski, and Susan Collins voted with Democrats to confirm it to the high court. Biden thanked those Republicans during his remarks on Friday, but also commended Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Dick Durbin's handling of their confirmation process, of the confirmation process. So I don't really take this too seriously because anyone that's paid attention to Supreme Court nominations, especially over the last... I would say 10 years, but it really all goes back to Robert Bork. Um, when you not get nominated by someone, whether, you know, regardless of what party you're from, members of the opposite party or the opposing party, I should say, tend to be extremely antagonistic and engage in any type of activity to derail your candidacy. Um, you can look no further than what happened with Kavanaugh. You can see the same thing with Gorsuch. Um, you know, these these people, I mean, even Kavanaugh, before the accusations came around with uh, Christine Blasey Ford, you had um, mentionings of his record, you know, and how he was just going to destroy uh, Planned Parenthood and gut abortion rights. You know, just all this stuff that is said every time someone from the right gets nominated from the Supreme, for the Supreme Court. So I... Um, I get where Biden's coming from, but it's it's it just it rings hollow because every time someone gets nominated, the opposing party tears them down. That's just how American politics work. It's a it's an extremely partisan field.